Saskatchewan Forage Council conducted a demonstration of perennial forage crops at four research farms in Saskatchewan through funding from the Agricultural Demonstration of Practices and Technologies, or ADOPT, program. In partnership with Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture Forage Specialists, approximately 50 different forage varieties were seeded side by side at each site in 2012 and 2013. The objectives of this project were to provide a side-by-side -side demonstration of new and unique forage varieties in comparison to those more commonly used, and to demonstrate any differences in establishment, growth habit, maturity, and yield of these grass and legume species. The four sites are located on research farms in Saskatchewan, including the Northeast Agriculture Research Foundation in Melfort, Craig Eco Centre in Craig, East Central Research Farm in Yorkton, and the Conservation Learning Centre in Prince Albert. There is also a duplicate site at the Canada-Saskatchewan Irrigation Diversification Centre in Outlook, Saskatchewan. Smooth brome, meadow brome, and hybrid brome were included in the perennial forage demonstration, with at least two varieties of each species demonstrated per site. One reason that brome grass is so often used in forage stands is that it is easy to establish. Brome grass stood out during this demonstration as a forage with vigorous seedlings that established successfully at all sites. Meadow brome and smooth brome consistently performed well, while hybrid brome established well at some sites and not as well at others. All brome grass species can be used for both hay and pasture, but with varying suitability due to differences in growth habits. Brome grasses work well in forage mixtures with alfalfa or other legumes and are easy to establish and well suited to Saskatchewan's climate and growing conditions. There are some differences between the brome grass species that should be considered when selecting forages. Smooth brome has a creeping growth habit, meaning it will fill in bare spots in fields and can be very competitive. For this reason, smooth brome can become invasive in rangelands and wetlands and may increase in a mixed stand. Meadow brome is only moderately competitive, so it generally does not invade native areas, and alfalfa may persist longer in a stand with meadow brome than smooth brome. Meadow brome also has quick regrowth and better recovery after grazing or haying than smooth brome, and better maintains both palatability and nutritional value into fall or winter if it is stockpiled for grazing. Hybrid brome is a cross of smooth brome and meadow brome and was developed in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. The first cultivar developed was A.C. Knowles, which has characteristics intermediate between smooth brome and meadow brome. For example, hybrid brome is said to yield well on the first cut, like smooth brome, and to regrow moderately well after cutting or grazing, like meadow brome. A.C. Success hybrid brome was developed in 2003 and has been shown to be more adapted to the drier brown soil zone. Also included in the demonstration is Bigfoot hybrid brome grass, which was developed in the United States. Hybrid brome established well at some sites and not as well at others. Where hybrid brome did establish, it yielded very well. AC Success was the highest yielding brome grass at Yorkton, and AC Knowles was the highest yielding brome grass at Craig. Notably, in this demonstration, Bigfoot hybrid brome did not establish or yield as well as the other brome grasses on average. To find out more about this project or about selecting forages for your farm, visit the Saskatchewan Forage Council website. Click the resources link to find the forage species selection tool and fact sheets relating to forage selection and establishment. The full report of this perennial forage demonstration ADOPT project can also be accessed on the website. You can also visit the Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture website to find the forage specialist for your region and other forage related resources.